This leaking world, all these nails and no wood, what kind of carpenter are you? That figure cannot help but opens its arm around you. Where is the strength in that wood? I am... Um... It's a miracle that this guy hasn't broke anything. It is a small miracle, small miracle. I just wanted you guys to let you know, uh, the color of my cheese t-shirt has changed. This is not because I pooped my t-shirt or something, <laughs> but because um, I actually, playing this level for the second time, the first time I played this level, uh, it did record the audio, so I have to replay it now. Now I finished the entire game. So um, this is, for me, probably it won't be as intense as for the first time around but I really wanted to uh, have this recorded for uh, for the let's play yes and we are in uh, we just fallen through this through thing and we have to figure out how to get here get through this stuff here all right what's this, this naturally once bled the product must be scalded dehaired and scraped ready for gram brawling and evisceration for this, we pass them through the steam reservoir, which is kept at a constant temperature by passing excess high pressure venting from the engines via the boiler and a series of large copper pipes into a stone chamber just below the workhouse. At the center of the machine, there is a component that must be kept at a constantly low temperature, which controls the operations of the processing of the product throughout the system. Alongside this, refrigeration is one of the utmost importance in retaining product quality and this also requires heat to be removed from certain areas of the machine. Two problems are therefore combined into a single solution. The removal of the heat from some areas of the requirement, some areas, and the requirements for increased heat in others. Conducting panels draw heat using principle of convection, regulated by the boiler, and sending freezing air along uh, one set of pipes in one direction, and superheating vapors in the other. Alright, so it's technical solution. Very technical solutions for these problems. Whoop. Isn't it dangerous allowing this filthy discharge to collect so close to the core? We can use the flow to drive the turbines. There will always be <coughs> a of excreta flooding through these tunnels. We can use this to supplement the steam production and ensure constancy. God, the stench! This fecal matter is the true product of the age. Yeah. Damn! Oh! 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 If you played Amnesia, you know these monsters. The invisible monster in the water! Don't go into water, kids! It's the invisible monster. You cannot see him, but he is a monster. And it is terrible. And it is terrible. Terrible! Terrible! Wait a minute, where do I have to go here? Yeah. Alright, it's closed. Sluice. Wait, wait, what is sluice? Does it really say sluice? Sluice gate, alright. Alright. It's a sluice. A sleazy sluice. Sluice. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. My lamp is twitching. There must be a piggy somewhere here. I forgot how. To be honest, I really forgot if there's a piggy here or not. Uh-oh. Wait a minute, that's good. That's behind the sluice gate. Oh gosh! Alright guys, that wasn't uh, nothing scary at all. It was just my girlfriend coming from her salsa parties. So I thought this wouldn't, wouldn't be so, uh, so stressful and uh, it was... It was stressful after all. See how it goes. All right, turning the crank. Smoothest one. Oh, wait a minute. Oh no! Uh, I had the same problem the last time. Ah, uh, this is really not well solved. Faster, Mandus. Drain the waters. Open the way to the bilge pumps. We are waiting for you. See, that's not good because you cannot read the papers twice. So I pick up the paper and then the telephone rings and I'm like, what? And and then you put
put away the paper to go to telephone and then you cannot read it anymore. That's not good. The paper should be should be somewhere else, maybe. I don't know. Alright, so we've activated one pump, I guess. Ah, yes. Schluss too. All right, we are, I think, oh. Ugh. That is a piggy. Is that a piggy? Oh, and that's the monster. The invisible monster. Can, can I fall through here? No, I can't. All right. Yeah, invisible monsters do not, uh, Miserable monsters are not scary. Well, they are scary, but... Wait a minute, that's where I came from. Oh. Ah! But we can save them. We can set them free. We can replace a rotten old world with a clean new one. Mr. Landis, you sound every bit the fanatic. Well, how can I be otherwise, Professor? How can any man of ethics simply stand by and watch this world drown in its own excrement? And your engineer, this visionary with whom you have embarked upon this course, does he share your views? Indeed he does, indeed he does. The poor fellow has seen it all before. Now, this is not the first great civilization he has wept for. And so you set about things immediately upon your return. Naturally, naturally. These things cannot be left to rot upon the tree. And sponsors were remarkably easy to find. I tell you, Professor, a trail of greed brings rich men to your door like pigs to truffles. Ah! Pigs to truffles. Also kind of like nice that they're talking about, uh, you know, the... Oh. What was that? Piggy is caught in the wall. That's so creepy. Uh, it's kind of nice that you're talking about human excrement. And, um, and of course, in this level, you are in human excrement. And but they're using it, of course, as a metaphor. Uh, gosh, I think I'm 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 running in circles, guys. Is that the gate here? Yeah, it's the gate. All right. Yeah, look, this is this guy. He's he's caught up there. Wait a minute, I cannot go here. Can I go there? No. All right. Okay. So I need to find a way to get there. Shoes gate number two. Wait a minute. Is this no? Okay. This is very confusing. Very confusing. All right. So this is not. A, all right. I'm exploring. All right. I'm figuring everything out, guys. I'm figuring. This is the creepy piggy thing. Yeah. So weird. So weird. All right, all right, all right. Over the bridge. I guess I have to go here. I guess I have to go here. Okay, so here is the the audio log. And, and this is. Oh wait a minute. There are two ways to get here. All right. And so I guess this is the place. Yeah, because now I'm behind the gate. Ah, yes. Okay, at first I'm gonna read this thing. And I said, look, my darlings, can you see it? Uh, and they said, yes, daddy, yes, we can see it. Uh, a tall a weathered cap of a steep sided pyramid. Uh, so like those of Egypt. A stone falling away from the summit, a vines crawling, interwining uh, the stuck of serpents and that thrive about the steps. A palpable sense of stillness, a weight of forgotten. And this here, this is where the king sat, and this 
is where the priests live. This house is the house of the dead. And here, where the sun strikes, is where they threw the hearts that were not consumed. Ugh. Not my darling. No, my darlings. They most certainly were not savages. You see, they believed that the sky uh, could fall on their heads. And they truly, truly believed that offering blood was the only way of stopping this from happening. Perhaps, my darling, perhaps they were mistaken altogether. Or perhaps the tragedy was that they could simply not spoil blood enough to prevent the sky from falling upon them. Huh. Like, in light of how the ending goes, this is like a very cool piece of, um, of text. But apparently... The, this guy and his sons were in this pyramid and things were happening and it's like the it's basically a story a little bit about the end of the world isn't it isn't it we are at the finishing thing of this level Oh man, I love those. I love those. machine man usability hasn't been invented yet it should be right Ooh, wow I wonder if 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 that's basically the canalization we were in before or like would everything drained was it super deep super deep I like this game man it's super deep Yeah, that piggy is playing with, with stuff. I wonder if, so that, that's that's also kind of like a very curious location. It seems to be like some kind of prison. And the piggies are, are like why why are some piggies in prison and some aren't? The inmates are running an asylum, so to speak. this music, huh? Great. What? Ah, look, an interesting bug. I'm climbing in, in the air. Right. Wait a minute. Getting on to the next level, uh, next level, oh yeah. Is it? Oh no. <gasps> Look, we are, we are in pipes. Jumping down. Uh oh, not good. Me too. Uh, that hurt, that hurt a lot.
<laughs> it's kind of funny because I'm basically being the excrement now. I follow the, the path of the excrement, I so to speak. 